What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now, today we're gonna be getting into how to route individual channels and uh, into your mixer in Studio One with the new machine 2.7 um, update, um, as well as being able to trigger individual tracks via MIDI onto the machine. Um, plug-in inside studio one um just i've been hearing a lot of crying about this in different message groups and it's dude you guys you guys gotta you guys gotta do this thing right so you go to the help menu and if you want to know something like like it, it's real easy to find the shit you go you know if, we're, if if we're talking about you know using an instrument right that would be on an instrument track so you go to recording instrument tracks and dude like this this manual is like the most comprehensive manual and it's not long like i'm looking I'm, I'm looking at literally a page whoa set up multiple virtual instrument outputs crazy right i mean that's that's how you learn this shit so um you know for for people who don't have a lot of time this is gonna be a fast tutorial right so you go to machine two bomb and you throw it in, and you throw it in the arrange window um and you know the 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 disadvantage of like coming up in the in the VST era is you don't is you don't really come with any basic um, MIDI skill set because you never had to hook up cables or, or anything like that so I could see why this is like lost on a lot of you guys out here but inside machine you want to click on this button right here and this is going to bring up um, your input and your output options right so first we want to work on outputs we want to work on getting um, we want to route audio out to the mixer so um, if you look at each one if you click on an individual sound each individual sound is going to be set to uh, dest is short for destination so you have a choice between um, the master channel the group channel none or um, external one two three four five six uh, through sixteen so these are individual um, stereo tracks that you can use so the, to make it easy you just for um for one you t change that to one two you change this to two all right and this is um this is you can do this a lot faster by hitting the pads on your machine and and um doing this like this but i do not have my machine hooked up right now all right, so that's that. Okay, boom, now I have 16 audio tracks. Now we have to deal with the inputs, right? Because we want to be able to send MIDI from the piano roll into each one of these tracks. Because each one of these is going to be, like for my purposes, each one of these is going to be populated with a, um, with a drum hit, right? And we want to be able to, you know, not just trigger the sample, but play it um, on the piano roll with the different pitches, right? So the, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to input and we're going to select MIDI because we're sending MIDI to the plugin you see how that works so the first thing you want to do is source right and click on this you got a couple choices you got default host and focus what do you think we're going to be doing we're going to be clicking host because we're going from the host to DAW now we're going to go down um and actually to make this easier let me just if you if you hold that if you click something and then you hold down shift just like you would on any other program it's going to highlight everything in between what you held shift on so i'm just going to make sure that we're on host um fucker why are you playing with me oh i know why okay Boom, so now we click host. Now we click on, you know, one through whatever. We're on host, boom, excellent, awesome. Now, same thing. We want to, the, um, your DAW has the ability to, just like audio tracks, it can have, it can have 16 different MIDI tracks, right? So we're gonna go ahead and set all these to their corresponding midi track you know one through 16 we're gonna go one through 16 really easy all 
All right, boom, now it's done. All right, so all the work is done. That's 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 all you needed to do. Now, for safekeeping, uh, a great thing to do is just go here, go to store preset, uh, name it machine MIDI routing, right? So it'll always be there, okay? And so now the question may be, well, you know, what do I do um, is, you know, as far as accessing those different tracks? So if you take this, and uh, actually, if you just um, if you just remove these tracks, right? Go to add instrument track, um, add sixteen tracks, and on the input, rather than putting default, do um, do machine two. Start on channel one, and then type ascending, and then on the output, do the same thing. Machine two channel one ascending now this will drop out 16 tracks you see how each one of them is yeah this is this is an important part you guys probably never looked at this this is the MIDI channel that um, that uh, that whatever notes you program on your piano roll are gonna are gonna be sent to so rather than channel one like like you would on every other VST now you're going one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you know because this is a multi timbral instrument right and if we go ahead and we pull up our um, if we pull up the um, the mixer now we want to see our audio track so all you got to do is click right here this triangle just like every other program on your computer indicates that there is a menu here so if you click on it and you click expand and now you click these individual tracks you will show the output inside the mixer right this is um, this is pretty this is pretty easy right and so now you have you have audio tracks for you know your kick snare your hi-hat if you know if you want to add samples inside of um inside this group you know obviously you guys know how to use machine um you know if you want to go ahead and highlight all of these and right click them and send them to a bus and call it machine bus or whatever you can do that you have the ability to now use individual individual inserts third party insert inserts and sends inside of um you know inside of the mixer have you know have their own fader be able to adjust them with mix tool and um you know route them as you see fit so i hope this tutorial was uh, short simple and to the point and got you where you needed to go this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one